hello friends welcome back i'm faraz and in today video we are going to see how to look up the last value in a column and we are going to do everything step by step so let's go and dive in and see the things in action so in this data set we have records for our salespersons by their location they have been working and we would like to extract the latest location they had been working like in this case, Ahmed has been working in India and Saudi Arabia, but his active location is Saudi Arabia. So whenever we write Ahmed, we should get over here Saudi Arabia. Let's build the solution together. So first thing what we will do is we'll say Ahmed equals to this in this range. We are just going to check in this range and I'm going to press F4 and press enter. So as soon as I have pressed enter, the results has been spread across column over here and we got all that results true and false because of the reason i'm using the new calculation engine so if you're not using the new calculation engine then the results would not spill but let us understand you can use this method and still build the solution if in case you are not having the new calculation engine so as you can see when i am comparing the column with ahmad in all that range i'm getting true and false so wherever the true is there that is the place where ahmed is available now let's go over here and build into another column where we will say that okay fine so wherever the value is true in this range the logic i will say if the logic is true then you please return me the row numbers okay the row numbers from this to this range okay and i'm going to lock that range and close parentheses and if it is not available then just give me the blank ones so this is how it has spilled that information you know see number three and number 10 but just a second we have the number position is true over here now if you have been using row functions the row function has been started recording the row number from B2 so we need to minus 1 to get that position exactly so we have got Ahmed on position number 9 now I'm going to wrap it into max function and I'm going to say look into this reference of entire column G where this is an array I'm putting a pound key and close parentheses and I got 9 over here and then I'm going to say index index and look this location and f4 comma and this is the row number close parentheses enter we got saudi arabia so you can see the flow how we have did it we first got logic done correctly then we put it into the row number then we got the max one and then we said wrap it into index and get that position so let's change it to faraz and for us and 12th we have uae perfect now let's go and quickly wrap everything into one place i'm just going to insert a column over here and this is my logic and i'm just going to copy this logic mod x okay and say equals to f again that logic if it is true or false and then i'm going to say rows let's say rows in this range and f4 close parentheses minus one comma if it is not there just put it blank enter we got this now from that we need to go and grab the max value the max close parentheses enter and you got 12 the row number 12 which is there and i'll say index and index will be in this range f4 comma and the row number and enter the reason why i got for us over here because in index i have been referencing it to the name so i just need to reference it to the sales location and i will get uae and if you have been working on the old excel engine then you need to press Control shift enter to make sure that this formula works so this is the way how you can extract the last value in a column. 
I know there are some functions like xlookup and xmatch which can seal the deal very easily. You can search the records from the bottom and you can extract that value and we'll be doing that and we'll be looking at those examples in my coming videos. So make sure that you are staying subscribed and make sure that you like this video. And one more thing that I would always prefer to work with Excel tables rather than this simple ranges because once your data is getting expanded, you have some new records, then you don't need to go and expand that range. So let us meet in the next video where we are going to learn how to do it with the X match and X lookup. Till then, take care, share this video and do let me know in the comments. See you soon. Bye.